I'm delighted to introduce you to the must-have new Skyrim mods for the fourth week of June 2024 in this video. In particular, I'm planning to start with mods related to outfits, particularly the latest creation by the notable creator Kanarvan. It's the Kagura outfit that I'm thrilled to present to you. Inspired by Yai Miko, this outfit adds a Kagura Priestess character set to the game, complete with a full costume and hairstyle. Utilizing SMP cloth physics, the hair, sleeves, and skirt move more realistically. The combination of gold accessories with white and red garments, along with pink hair, significantly enhances the character's overall appearance. If you wish to bestow such unique beauty upon your character or follower, the Kagura outfit could very well be your best choice. Next up is the Ashtoreth Spartacus Slave Outfit. This mod adds a gray cloth attire for women, crafted by Ashtoreth. It includes three different styles of tops, complemented by a brown belt wrapped around the waist and a neck accessory of quite impressive quality. Personally, I think this outfit would serve well as a replacer for Skyrim's prisoner garb, or even as a temple priest's attire. The creator has also designed a male version, which could be rebuilt as a prisoner outfit replacer, fitting quite naturally into the Skyrim ambiance. This time, we have a unisex armor set, namely the Rehod Swordsman set. It's a medieval-style warrior ensemble complete with armor and weapons that offers a variety of helmet options. The outfit seems to fit well with the desolate tundra region, providing an authentic feel. The one-handed sword and wooden shield designs are exceptional, and the physical effects are intricately included, adding realistic movement to the capes and various garments, including helmets. The chest ornaments and other detailed aspects of the design and quality are outstanding, making it an excellent armor set for those who wish to embody the feel of a wandering warrior traversing the tundra. This time, I'd like to introduce a quite interesting early access mod, the Dismembering Framework. This mod is currently in alpha version and is being developed by Seb, the creator of the Simple Beheading mod that I introduced before. It includes the head decapitation feature of Simple Beheading and adds limb dismemberment. You can dismember all parts of an NPC and not only living enemies, but also the limbs of dead bodies can be dismembered. From my testing, I noticed a slight slow motion effect when killing an enemy by dismembering their limbs. It seems to implement various dismemberment sounds, depending on the armor worn and the weapon used. Despite being an Alpha 02 version, it seems to work quite stably. Unlike the Maximum Carnage mod, which seems to smash limbs, this mod delicately dismembers limbs, which is well implemented. I believe that when it is officially released, it could innovatively upgrade your Skyrim battles, so I decided to introduce it in advance. In this segment, we're showcasing mods related to creatures, and first up is Simply Better Wolves. This mod serves as a replacer to enhance the visual quality of wolves within the game, aiming to replace all default wolves with new, fluffy models for a more realistic and appealing appearance. Designed as a simple replacer, it upgrades the wolves to an excellent quality without adding complex gameplay changes or new spawns. This makes it the perfect mod for players seeking visual improvements without altering gameplay, offering a great opportunity to upgrade your Skyrim wolves. Next up is Sea Turtles, Mihail Monsters, and Animals. This mod brings peaceful and adorable sea turtles to the waters surrounding Skyrim. They gracefully swim through the seas, diligently munching on seaweed, adding vibrancy and beauty to the game world. From the textures of their shells and skin to their movements, the turtles are quite naturalistic. I highly recommend this mod as it breathes new life into Skyrim's marine environment, creating the most perfect ecological setting. It allows for an immersive and unique gameplay experience that respects the nature. Next up is Lesser Daedroths. From Mihail Monsters and Animals, this mod adds a new type of large bipedal Daedra called Daedroths, which resemble crocodiles in appearance. These formidable creatures possess both incredible ferocity and intelligence. Unlike the Daedroths from the Oblivion series, these come equipped with armor. There are warrior-type Daedroths as well as those that wield magic, creating a well-rounded composition. I believe this mod excellently captures the unique essence of the Daedroths, while also distinguishing between classes, making it a superb addition to Skyrim's array of creatures. Next up is Dongo Giants. This mod replaces the giants in Skyrim with new models inspired by Game of Thrones. It transforms the three existing vanilla giant models into one larger giant. And based on FSMP, it allows the giant's beard to flutter in the wind, making the giants of Skyrim more closely resemble the idealized form of giants. A notable advantage of this creature mod is that it doesn't contain an ESP file, 
which means it has high compatibility with other mods. If you're a fan of the Game of Thrones ambiance, using this creature mod would be a great choice. This time, I'm going to introduce some visual-related mods. I have two in mind to share with you. First up is Tomato's Whiterun Parallax. As the title suggests, this is part of Tomato's Whiterun series. It's a replacer that upgrades all the textures of buildings and terrains in Whiterun with a parallax effect applied. You can choose between 2K and 4K textures. If you've always preferred Tomato's textures, or if you find this Whiterun texture mod appealing through this video, I highly recommend using this mod to enhance your Whiterun experience. Next up, we have the Diverse Windmill Sales Base Object Swapper. This mod is designed to replace and add a variety of meshes to the windmill sails in Skyrim. It offers a wide range of colors for the windmill sails, making them look more diverse and realistic. By diversifying the windmills and sails, it enhances the liveliness of Skyrim, providing an opportunity for further improvement. Next up is Real Water in Buckets. This is a small immersive mod that adds buckets filled with real water to the world of Skyrim. With this mod, you'll find buckets filled with water around hunters' campfires, outdoor bandit camps, and occasionally in towns. According to the creator, about 85 buckets have been added, with the possibility of more being added in the future. Despite its small feature, this mod has quite a cool and immersive feature. I believe it can enhance your immersion in the game. In this session, we will introduce mods related to followers. First up is Mill Factory Nia the Nerd. This mod adds a follower named Nia, who is currently studying at the College of Winterhold. Although she uses a basic voice and seems to be a follower with a shy concept, she has quite a unique oh, personality. I believe this makes her a great mod to add to your followers. Next up is the Myra SMP Hair Follower. This mod adds a follower with short SMP hair, just like in the video. You can find her at the Markarth Inn. She is characterized by her attractive hair and appearance. Initially, she wears somewhat revealing armor, so in my case, I dressed her in a Highlander outfit for the shoot. She uses the default voice and is quite a glamorous follower, so you might want to refer to the video to decide whether or not to use her. Next up is the Elena Follower mod. This mod introduces an enchanting elf female follower who has rosacea and freckles. You can find her at the Bannered Mare. She is initially equipped with a bikini elven armor and an elven bow, and her class is designated as a ranger. While she uses the default voice, she is quite an attractive follower due to her charming appearance. Check out this video to decide whether you'd like to use her in your game. Thank you for watching today's video featuring the must-have new Skyrim mods for the fourth week of June 2024. If you found these mods exciting and helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, smash that like button, and enable notifications to stay updated with our latest uploads. Make sure to grab these fantastic mods to elevate your Skyrim gameplay to new heights. Stay tuned for more awesome content, and until next time, happy modding and happy adventuring.